My name is Mortimer Latin Jones. I'm not a writer, but I know a lot about it. The crap I've been speaking of isn't crap in the sense of worthless. It's crap in the sense of fail try, amateurish, but it's still immensely worthwhile. Be proud of it, but keep an even head on your shoulder. Don't kid yourself. Keep your crap. Get it printed professionally. It's your badge of honor. It's your boot camp. It's your report card. Not to worry. Your second novel will be twice as good. Your third, three times better. During the process of writing using failed ideas, failed characters, failed story structures, you'll discover how it's done. You'll get moments of revelations. The crap you write now is the fertilizer for your next novel. You'll slowly begin to get it. You'll learn consciously and subconsciously. You'll look at your second and third novel, and you'll find it quite respectable. You'll know it's no masterpiece, but this time you'll know why it's done. When you come up with something that isn't crap, you'll know it. You didn't at first. At first you were mesmerized by your ideas, by your characters. You thought it was all so wonderful, and that's how it should be. If you didn't, you wouldn't have bothered writing. How many can write a novel? How many have the stamina? If a novel is a tree, then your first novel is a stump. Your second novel is a trunk with a few branches. Your third or fourth will maybe sprout some leaves. And one day you'll be writing, and you'll notice this new novel of yours is a bonafide tree. A little crooked, maybe, but a genuine tree. Then you'll write a novel that'll sprout a flower. Wouldn't that be great? That flower will be more colorful than any of the mirage flowers you thought you saw in your earlier novels. This flower will be a true flower. It'll be your flower. Go ahead and attach your name to it. It's gorgeous. Hell, maybe you can even start thinking about calling yourself a writer. If you are, you're in terrific company.